Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to A Link to the Past. The past, the past, oh my god, it's the past. So last time, we skipped the dungeon with Princess Zelda, so I guess she's rescued now. Game over. And we found out that the village elder apparently is not even in the village, so I guess his name's just a complete lie. And he appears to be up in the top right-hand corner of the map, kind of near one of the dungeons. So I was looking at the map before I start recording here. I think I know the route, so hopefully I won't have to pause the game and look at the map every 20 seconds, but... My sense of direction and my memory are both shitty, so... We'll see how this goes. And that man... Ouch, dick! That man has a bow. And apparently I deflected that arrow. I think that was my shield. Really? Really, buddy? You, know, you come here and you just die. Hey, we got our first arrows of the game. Cool! That kind of excites me. Now we actually need something to shoot them with. But yeah, I think it should just be up here. It's looking promising. It looks kind of like a dungeon. And yeah, I assume these little orange ready things that shoot the cannonballs are the Octoroks that I was thinking of, because... I guess they look kind of like octopuses, which I assume is why they're called octoroks. Or I guess, you know, just oct means eight, so maybe they're not really octopuses, but they have eight legs. I don't know. Maybe I'm going into too much detail with this shit. Either way, I do believe we should be just about there. Yeah, I think the elder should be in that little weird hut thing. Yeah. Don't know why he's hanging out around here, but, you know, I ain't gonna question it. He's a wise old man. They hang out in weird places. It could be worse. He could be hanging out at a titty bar or something. Hey, what up, Cubal? Okay, it appears to be some booty to rub behind you, so I shall do it. Now, how do you use the bombs? I think they're in the invent- Yeah, they are in the inventory. Okay. Now, don't blow yourself up. Perfect. Right, what do you have to rob in here? Bunch of booty. Hey, we got our bombs back. I wonder if they- In fact, no. I was gonna say, I wonder if they respawn so you can just farm them, but I very much doubt it, because I don't think chests come back in this game. Too much Dark Souls 2, man. Too much Dark Souls 2. I'm indeed Sashaharalala, the village elder and a descendant of the Seven Wise Men. Oh really, Link? I am surprised a young man like you is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legends say only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Do you really want to find it? Yeah, or of course? It's the same damn thing, is it not? I guess of course. Good! As a test, can you retrieve the pendant of courage from the East Palace? If you bring it here, I will tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. Now go forward to the palace. Okay, old man, I shall do it. I think he's talking about literally just to the... Yeah, it's like literally up and to the right of where we are, which is very handy. So yeah, I'm assuming this is going to be our first official dungeon of the game. When well, these things do come to life. I was thinking maybe these are the Dark Nuts, but I don't think they are, because Dark Nuts you can only hit from the side or behind. So these look like Armus Knights to me, but isn't Armus Knights like a boss? Maybe they're like mini Armus Knights? I'm freaking now. Yeah, you get out of here, you son of a bitch. I'm watching you. Really? You take a bunch of hits to die and you drop me nothing. Freeloaders, man, and this one's right in my path. Who built this shit? It's just a dick. I also really want to kill that Octorok because I'm sure I... Really? Uh, I'm sure I remember them dropping like... Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, I'm sure I remember them being really good for getting gold or rupees. Get used to it. I'm going to keep calling it gold. I don't know why. Any kind of currency is gold in my brain. But, uh, yeah, it's weird, I remember tiny little details like that, like, if you want money, kill all the rocks and rats. But I don't remember, like, major things. My brain works very strangely. Very, very strangely indeed. And there's another one right there. Looks like we don't even really have to fight this guy, so we're not going to. See ya, buddy. This dude's gonna be a pain. Really, that missed you? Really? Well, whatever, we can just spam. And we got our heart back. And this looks like this is probably, yep, where we're supposed to be going. Yay! Yeah. Ah! See ya, jerks. So I'm assuming this is our first real dungeon of the game. It does seem to be. Hey, we found a switch. What do you do? Are you open that door? Did they open the other ones as well? I think they were already open, but I wasn't really paying that much attention. So, yeah. We might as well just start from the left and check every direction, just in case. But, uh, yeah, okay. So this one's a complete bust, it would seem. I don't know if you can drop down there. I'm kind of tempted to try, but also completely not. So, yeah, screw that shit for now. Now, I'm assuming this one's also going to be a bust, but we're going to check just in case, yes. Well, all right then, at least now we know. Open sesame! But yeah, it seems like a game we've got a pretty damn... What are these things? Are they like plants or something? I have no idea. They kind of remind me of one of the enemies in Kingdom Hearts 2. But uh, yeah, anyway, so... It seems like we got a very basic dungeon here for our first one, which... Again, I'm okay with that, because... It gets really damn complex later in the game, and I suck at puzzles. This is gonna be a bit of a pain in the dick to get past. And get- Oh god, that's a big one! Oh! <laughs> damn, I got a hit! That was like the worst time to try and run past that. 
Evil, and you no don't go yet. Now go. Ah, right. So before we go up there, let's check around here just to make sure it's not. okay. There's a staircase. Does this lead us up onto the walkway to get over to the left? And yeah, but it did lead us to booty. A hundred rupees. Nice. Oh my god, there's more under the pots. Give me all of the money. Yoink. Okay, I'm glad we came this way. But uh, yeah, we got no potions, no fairies. We die in like four. Well, I guess it depends how much damage the enemies do, but assuming they do a full heart damage, we're gonna die in like four shots. So yeah, gotta be kind of careful here, cause. I don't know how much damage things are going to do, and that looks like our giant chest down there, which is probably where we're going to get the dungeon item. And there's a, a switch behind this pot. Really? I can't, I can't hit that thing in the eye? Okay. So we can open that with the switch. Is the one on the other side as well? There is. But the door's open. Uh, do I want to show that? I don't think I do. Okay, well screw it. Let's go check in this direction first, and then we'll check the other one. Oh, hello. Ah, you jump back. Ah, okay, so this sword swingy thing seems to work. Yes, the power charge, whatever it's called, is the sword swingy thing. Tell me a body. Gotcha. Really? I missed the other one? Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, that does seem like a pretty damn viable tactic for taking them out or cornering them like that. And we don't need that heart. Damn, I was trying to run away from it. Okay, there seems to be another pathway down there, but we need a key for that door. There are bones in here. Bone sword is ready. Get out of here. Pots of justice for all. I kind of want those arrows. No, 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 no. I don't think we can even carry those arrows. I've got a strange thing, feeling 10 might be the max for now. But I may be completely imagining that. And we lost them anyway, so. Screw everything. Come here, buddy. Here we go. And we got a bomb. Again, we don't need that either. But still. It's the thought that counts. I don't think there's going to be any secret walls in here. But I just want to check. Yeah. Okay. And now we know. Now I'm happy. I wonder what that motif on the wall is. It looks kind of like a cobra, I guess. And we've got the compass. You found the compass, now you can pinpoint the lair of the dungeon's evil master, and so forth. Cool! You get the feeling this is gonna take us, yes, down here. I think we can click on these to talk to people, yes. Link it as I. Dave, I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here is a hint, you can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat the armored foes. To defeat armored foes. Okay. So, in other words, whatever the hell we're gonna get, which I think I know what it is. Pretty damn sure it's just gonna be the bow, it makes sense to me. So I'm guessing that means... Oh god, you're alive! Okay, I'm guessing that means... Oh, we can carry more than 10. 30 might be the max then? But yeah, anyway, so I'm assuming it just means the arrows are really good against anything in armor. It's locked. If you had the big key, you might be able to open it. But we don't, because I suck. So I'm guessing I should have gone to the right first, because now we're in this room and we don't have what we need. But whatever. Kill me a body. Oh shit! Okay, Pot of Justice was a little bit too early there. And yeah, it seems like these are going to be armored foes as well, so I'm assuming these are just really resistant to the sword or something. But apparently not pots. Pots are OP, man. They're OP. And yeah, this is what I was saying, you can drop down these things. Hey, perfect, we have fairies. And we have bottles. Yeah, you caught a fairy, what will you do with it? Keeping it in a bottle. You're never getting free now. <laughs> I always like to think that Link is just eating them when he gets hungry. Like, he needs HP and he just munches on the damn fairies. I mean, I don't think that's supposed to be what happens, like they just sprinkle powder on you. Like a good fairy, but... You know what can I say, I've got a bit of a sadistic mind, I like to think that he's just munching on them. Which is extremely messed up. Right, so that seems to be a very easy way for us to get fairies, which I am very happy about, which means... We should be okay here. But again, I could easily die like three times, but... It will literally have to be three times. But it's, it's definitely not out of the realms of possibility. But I think we're doing okay so far. But yeah, we need to get a big key, and I remember those things, I think they're called Alga. Okay. Right, so, oh, yoink. So that opened the door, oh, get out of here, get out of here. Give me that booty. Okay, run. Right, so we need a key for that one on the left, and this one just opened anyway. But yeah, I think those are called anti-fairies. I think there's some kind of powder you can spray on them to turn, uh, to turn them into normal fairies. Which we don't have yet. I've got a strange feeling we could have got that, but, uh... I seem to remember you have to trade, like, a mushroom to a witch. We don't have the mushroom, we haven't found the witch, so... I don't know where either are. I really don't need hearts right now. I would really love some more booty. And again, I forgot that you can't go in the doorways with pots in your hands. Okay, well, either way, we got our key, so we can go in here. And I feel like we're going the right way, because, you know, it's not stopping us, but... Oh, we can go over here now. I'm trying to think where else... Oh, well, that was right. There was uh, another door, uh, sort of, to the right in the other room, so... We still need to check over there to see what the hell is going on with that. And that is a lot of anti-fairies, and that looks like something's probably going to spawn there at some point. 
Maybe, oh god, get out of here. Maybe it's like a kill all enemies room, so we're gonna try killing everything and then see if something appears. I'm hoping it's gonna be the big key, but I guess we'll see. And I really wish we had the bow right now to deal with this guy, but looks like we're just gonna have, oh god, it doesn't work. Looks like we're just gonna have to sort him and yeah, it's gonna take quite some time. Aha, uh -huh. we'll grind him to my sword. Buddy, I, really? Stop going to sleep, I'm trying to kill you, you inconsiderate dick. Thank you. Hey, we got our gun. Okay, we got arrows. And there's nothing else down here, so... I'm assuming whatever we want is gonna be under here. Yep, we got a chest and... Yes! You got the big key! Suck so on that. And... Oh god, really? Dick? Oh god, da 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 Alright, careful. Okay, oh god, move. Everything get out of my damn way. Okay, break. Make a break for it. Oh, son of a bitch! And they seem to do a full of damage, which is very concerning. But say, uh, yeah, this seems to be just a shortcut back, so maybe I did go in the right direction. That was a complete fluke, but whatever, I'll take it. And you, sir, I'm watching you. We need to go get the booty. And now I'm assuming the door directly up is going to be the boss door, but yeah, there was still that one direction we haven't been in yet. So we may want to backtrack and do that, but I guess we don't really need to do it right now. You found the bow, you can shoot arrows. No shit. I'm guessing we are going to need that for these fellas. Kill me a body. Die. Oh god, the head's come off. Okay, I was. Oh, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> that was a hell of an ambush. I was not expecting that. Okay, well, uh, there goes one of our fairies. But in the grand scheme of things, that shouldn't really matter. I mean, technically, we didn't die. We just fell unconscious. But uh, yeah. Okay, we can't one-shot them. Good. So when we went back down to the pots, the fairies were back again. So I should just be able to go down there and catch another one. So. Really, it shouldn't matter too much. But maybe they'll be gone now. I really doubt it, but you never know. Ah, they're back again. Perfect. Kill me, you. That's right, you gain that bottle, and you're gonna like it. Okay, so we got two fairies again. We're back at full HP, so we should be okay now. I assume we must be very close to the boss. It's probably just gonna be on the other side of this door. We might have to do some stuff first. I don't really know. Uh, unless the boss is a bunch of plants, I don't think we're there yet. Oh, great. A giant room of darkness. Okay. D -d 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 dick. Absolute dick. Oh okay, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. First of all, let's get rid of you. Really? No booty? Really? Okay, come here, buddy. There we go. Hey, we got a key. Where do we... D really? My god. Where do we use that? Is it in this room? Doesn't seem to be unless it's over here. Oh, it is. Okay, so we got two directions to go in. So... Well, first of all, I'm gonna light all these damn things just in case it's some kind of a puzzle to give us, you know, like a chest appear or something. I doubt it, but it's worth a try. Yeah. No. Okay, well, whatever. I guess we may as well check in here first. What's, oh, okay, it goes up. Even though it looked okay. Ew. I feel like that's where we're supposed to go, so we're gonna try going the other way first, just in case. But yeah, I don't really know. I, I assume you can just double back or at least come back in the dungeon once you're finished, just in case to get what you miss, but... Yeah, oh, okay. This has a lot of freaking money. Yeah, give me that booty. Don't hit me. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Give me, yeah, okay, we got it. <laughs> that was some pro dodging right there. I'm kind of proud of that. Man, that was hectic as hell. Okay, anyway. Let's go up here. At least now we know. Like I said, that's why I wanted to check both directions, because one of them was bound to be a dead end with some booty. And had I missed that, everyone would have been mad at me, and frankly, I would have been a little bit mad at myself. Right, and uh, yeah, I seem to recall you can use fairies whenever you want, like you can release them. So, if we want to sort of heal preemptively, we can do that, but I don't know the advantage to doing that. Because like I say, you just get KO'd, you don't die, so I don't think there's any, like, detrimental effect of that, but... Maybe there's some reason you'd want to do that that I don't know about, but yeah, I, I don't really know. And you, sir, wake up and die. That's your turn. Boom! Okay, uh, that switch did nothing, it would seem. So, well, you do something. So I'm guessing the rest of these are fake. Yep, apparently so. Well, alright then. Oh, shit. I actually kind of remember this room. Hey, we found the right one. Careful, careful. Damn, I walked into that. I was really hoping to get out of there without taking any damage. Ah, just like uh, a sort of goat head thing with a skull on the floor? Maybe that represents the boss, and maybe we are about to go into the boss room. I could have sworn I remembered, like, the big key just taking you straight to the boss. That might just be other Zelda games. Oh god, the pot didn't work on you. Okay, so red eyeball fellas are immune to pots, apparently. 
Well, that's gonna throw a spanner in the works. And we got our arrows back. What's under here? More arrows we don't need. Okay, so is it indeed boss time? No. Really? Where the hell? That was amazing. Where the hell is the boss? I, I'm gonna try again, but I don't think it's gonna work. I think I threw it too early anyway. Okay. We're gonna be fine. Just take your time. That's right. Wake up and die. And you as well. There we go. Perfect. Well, let's look at these damn things just in case. I guess the only thing we really want is money because we have like max of everything else and we got literally no money. Screw you then, game. Oh. Okay, we have found the boss and apparently they're immune at the moment. Wait, really? Okay, I just wasted a bunch of arrows. I don't know how many we need. Oh, God, okay. I thought it was the same spots. I thought, oh, God. Oh, God. I thought I could just stand there. This is going terribly. I don't want to waste a fairy here. I think we can do this without wasting one. But, uh, yeah, got to stop missing with the goddamn arrows, but they are kicking the crap out of them. And we are kind of running very low on arrows. No, 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 no. Um, how do I kill this guy? Oh, you can't hit it. I thought, oh, shit. I thought maybe he had to sort it or something. Yes. Victory. And we got our heart container and our pendant of justice. I know that was called courage. I don't care. It's the pendant of justice now. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to Sasha Harhard Dave. Two pendants remain. Yes. See, I remember when I first originally played this, I thought all you had to do to beat the game was get the three pendants. It is not that freaking simple, but, uh, yeah, I know if you know what you're doing, most people can beat this game in, like, I don't know, like five hours or something. Probably gonna take me at least triple that, so. Yeah, it's not a long game either way for an RPG, especially by today's standards, but back in the day, this was a long freaking game, like, good lord, 15 hours. Most games are like 45 minutes on the snares, so it was kind of crazy. I really love that sound effect, and I don't know why, but I just do. Okay, anyway, let's go speak to Cube, we'll see what the hell is going on with him, and I don't know why you seem to be perpetually dancing all of the time, but it's kind of funky. And I kind of want to check the other room, but screw it. Oh, you got a pendant of courage. Now we'll tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of the Hyrule. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the pendant of courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War against Eivor that took place when the Seven Wise Men created their seal. Among the descendants of the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see, Link. I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the Wise Men. I want you to have it. We got the uh, red thing. He gives you the Pegasus shoes. Now you can execute a devastating dash attack. Sweet. Hold the A button. I don't know which one it is. A helpful item is hidden in the cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. Get it. Really? Interesting. Do we need the shoes to get that, I wonder? I don't know. I guess we should probably just check the map, see if we can... I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. Like, I really don't know. I think you can go under that bridge and I think you might... No, I don't think you need to be able to swim to do that. I think that might be the way you get to the Zoras. I don't really remember. But, say, uh, yeah, I don't know which cave he's talking about, so... We're just gonna have to do some random exploring and see what the hell is going on, but I do know, now that we have these boots, which I thought I were called Hermes boots, but I guess I was just playing too much Terraria. Too much of everything, man. But, uh, yeah. So now that we have these boots, we can chase down the fellow in the village. Don't know what he's gonna give us, I would assume a heart piece, but we shall see. Wait, what? Oh! I had no idea he could do that, <laughs> okay. And we found, like, a, a fairy fountain, which we don't need right now, but that's interesting. Okay. That... So you can run into, like, the weird shell thingies. I'm really glad I accidentally found that out, because otherwise everyone would be shouting at me. I remember we saw some somewhere else. I think it might have been in the graveyardy section around the church, the sanctuary, whatever you want to call it, where we saved Zelda. Oh, there's, like, a new fella on the bridge. What up, buddy? Just chucking spears at me. You son of a bitch. Come here, you. There we go. Hey, we got a ginormous magic thing. Really? There are gods in the grass? What is this shit? Okay, the... Wait, he's there again? What the hell? I, got, I chased him down and he got away from me, but apparently he came back again. But anyway, whilst we're here, we're gonna bomb in here and see what's going on. I think this may be the room I was mentioning where you can just keep uh, getting your bombs back. Oh, I guess not. What the hell is this? Really? 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 I found like 5,000 for... I mean, I guess we needed them. 
but I found like 5,000 arrows when I didn't. There's one room there with one chest that all of a sudden did deck. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose him again. Oh, I hate this guy so much. But uh, yeah, there's like one room <laughs> with one chest of arrows that probably doesn't come back. It's kind of pointless, but whatever. But yeah, I think, you, yeah, you can chase this guy in this direction as well, so let's try it this way. Come here, buddy. Really? Oh, you son of a bitch. I can't catch this guy. I hate him so much. Come here, you. No, 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 no. Yes! I can't believe you caught me. Finally, man, Jesus. With your speed, it must have been easy to kidnap Zelda. You don't look like such a bad guy, though. Anyway, because you have such quick feet, it might be a good idea to run and bash into many things. For example, the trees in this village have many useful things hanging in their branches. Oh. Well, just try it, okay? You give me nothing, you dick! Hey, we found five rupees in the, uh... The tree, and yes, I know the gold rupees before anyone freaks out. So yeah, that apparently was all like he just gives you information. I, I tried to catch that guy like five or six times. That was frustrating as hell, and all, all for pretty much nothing. I mean, at least now we know about the tree thing, but yeah, what a dick, man. What an absolute dick. Anyway, I also recall there was another bombable wall down here, so we're gonna do this whilst we're here, and then I think we will end the video. But yeah, I seem to recall this is like their real hideout in here, and this may take you to that blind guy that the other dude- Ouch! I bombed myself! That the- Oh. Apparently not. I could've sworn the leader was in here! Maybe it's a different dungeon? I don't know! Hey, we got a heart piece! You found a piece of hearts! Okay, so that seems to be about it. Well, anyway! I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time! For more Zelda!